there's this story that folks who terminate a pregnancy are, you know, taking it lightly, um, that it's, uh, you know, a, a for, I've, I've heard people say to me, it's a form of contraception um, for these people. Mm. You know, I um, have had the privilege of uh, stewarding more than a couple of hundred individuals through terminations of pregnancy. Um, my youngest patient for this procedure was 12. Wow. My oldest patient for this procedure was in her mid fifties. Wow. Um, and there's not a single patient that I've ever been with who having to even face this question hasn't been a, a life changing event for her. Um, and it's something we always will carry with us, no matter what our decision is. Um, I, what I, I have brought to my patients since I was a resident was um, a, a poem um, that actually my mother introduced to me by Gwendolyn Brooks. Um, and it's called The Mother. Um, and, and it's about an abortion experience. And uh, I'd like to share it. Please. The Mother by Gwendolyn Brooks. Abortions will not let you forget. You remember the children you got that you did not get. The damp, small pulps with a little or with no hair. The singers and workers that never handled the air. You will never neglect or beat them or silence or buy over the sweet. You will never wind up the sucking thumb or scuttle off ghosts that come. You will never leave them controlling your luscious sigh, return for a snack of them with gobbling mother eye. I have heard in the voices of the wind, the voices of my dim killed children. I have contracted, I have eased my dim dears at the breasts they could never suck. I have said, sweets, if I sinned, if I seized your luck, and your lives from your unfinished reach. If I stole your births and your names, your straight baby tears and your games, your stilted or lovely loves, your tumults, your marriages, aches, and your deaths. If I poisoned the beginnings of your breaths, Believe that even in my deliberateness, I was not deliberate. Though why should I whine? Whine that the crime was other than mine, since anyhow you are dead. Or rather, or instead, you were never made. But that too, I am afraid, is faulty. Oh, what shall I say? How is the truth to be said? You were born, you had body, you died. It is just that you never giggled or planned or cried. Believe me, I loved you all. Believe me, I knew you, though faintly, and I loved, I loved you all. 